Oh. Whoa. All right, guys, here we go. He's crazy. This man has <laughs> got such a colorful life, it's beyond me. The women tell me he's quite a looker. Oh, God. He's always got a smile. He taught me everything I know. Did you show her your happy dance? Yeah. He has his happy dance, he does when he comes through the door. Ben's name is Happy Feet. Show it, Ben. I go, whoa. And one, and two, and go, uh, mercy, mercy, <laughs> we, we, one, Tony. He's a man. Smack. <laughs> we, one, mushroom. Whoa. So how are you doing? Well, how are you doing? If you have any problem, call me, let me know. What? Are you, are you serious? Me? From here? No, I'm feeling good. You know, you have to do a little dancing. Hi. My name is Otak Benoit, and they call me Ben. Well, I was born in 1937 in Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, and I uh, started out life with a lot of handicaps. I had no roof in my, in my mouth, no palate. I was very inarticulate. People couldn't understand me at all in any way. So the educational system sent me to a special education school for the blind, the deaf, and the mentally retarded. And I spent eight years in that school. Of course, my outlook for life was, was bleak. By every means, everybody would, every time I said I wanted to do something, everybody would say, no, you can't do that. No, you can never be a pilot. No, you can never do anything because you are sickly, you are ill, you are... And nobody can understand you. Well, there are quite a few uh, adventures in my life, despite all the difficulties. I was at a party and I mentioned uh, to my friends, what would you think if I said I was going to drive a lawnmower from Maine to California? And everyone said, no, 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 it's not possible. You'll kill yourself. Well, I love that challenge. So, with driving the Troy lawnmower around the country in the early 70s, I put out a little track record. So I contacted every lawnmower company. And no lawnmower company would give me a lawnmower. They said, you'll never make it. You'll break down on the highway, you'll have a, a lawnmower, it'll be on television, it'll be bad news, bad publicity for us. All right. So I contacted a group of lawnmower racers and I asked, I asked them if they would help me. And they were in Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. Where we put together this whole 17 year old lawnmower. We painted it up, put a, a, an automobile seat on it, and I just took off. And I drove. I drove the lawnmower from Maine to Miami to Los Angeles. I left Maine about September the 14th and arrived in Los Angeles December the 5th. So I drove a lawnmower at that time to help trim the wall. And I collected 1.2 million signatures honoring the men and women in Vietnam. And that's why the president invited me to the White House. He gave me a couple of citations and the presidential medallion. When I finished the end of the ride, uh, there were many people greeting me and giving me their cards and wanting to meet me. And one of them was from Walt Disney Studios. And they wanted me to contact them. 
But uh, after 81 days on the lawnmower, I said, uh, no, all I want to do is get home. Get the next flight home. And I flew home and I never contacted Disney Studios. And consequently, they, someone else did a movie of another man who drove a lawnmower about 200 miles. And then when they found out about me, I had driven 3,000. Uh, we contacted one another, and they were sorry that uh, they hadn't made a movie of my traveling the 3,000 miles. Yes, the first person to uh, make a world record in driving a lawnmower. And after I did it, then many people started driving lawnmowers all over the country, all over the world, as a matter of fact. So they broke my record within the next year. So it just went on and on. And, um, but Ines recognized mine as being the first uh, lawnmower ride. That's the lawnmower. After me, right? That's it. After all these years, Five years. Wow. I've had many, many dreams in my life. And those dreams because of my disability, meaning my impediment, my speech impediment, hearing impediment, etc. I've always managed to survive and fulfill every dream.